On February 17th, this TV station and every other full power station will make the switch to digital broadcasting. Will your TV work or will you need a converter box? We'll show you how to hook one up. Will your antenna work or will you need a new one? And what is digital TV anyway? All your questions about to be answered. From the Tech Museum of Innovation in the heart of Silicon Valley, I'm Scott Budman. This is Tech Now. Thanks for watching and welcome to a special edition of our high tech show. We are counting down the days until the biggest development in television since it went to color back in the 1950s. What's going to happen and what do you need to do about it? We begin with Tech Now Scott McGrew. The federal government has said TV stations, this one, the other guys, nearly every TV station in the nation has to stop broadcasting the way it has for years in an analog signal and start broadcasting a digital signal. But if you have an old TV and you get your TV signal from an antenna, your old TV will not be able to understand the new digital signal and you will not be able to watch television after February 17th. If you watch TV the old fashioned way with an antenna on the roof or rabbit ears on the set top and you don't have a digital TV, then you've got a something to do between now and February 17th. You can solve this problem a couple of ways. You can get cable or satellite service, more about that in a moment. Or you can buy a new TV. The new digital tuners you find in all new televisions can get the free over-the-air signal. They don't have to be fancy, any new TV, even the cheap ones. Or you can get yourself a converter box. These relatively inexpensive devices take the new digital signal and convert it into an old-fashioned analog signal your old television understands. We'll show you how to do it in just a second. Whatever you do, it's best to do it now. TV stations are already broadcasting their digital signals, so why not start receiving that signal before the analog signal goes away? That way you've decided what works before we're forced to turn off that old analog signal. Now, most people will see the switch to digital come and go without having to change any part of their TV watching routine. When it comes to the digital changeover, we get a lot of questions about what we need to worry about. Like cable, and we'll make it easy. If you have cable or a satellite service like Dish Network or DirecTV, you're already set. The company you subscribe to will pump a digital signal straight into your screen. You don't have to do anything but keep up on the payment. We're also asked about peripherals like game consoles. The switchover does not affect your Xbox, PS3, or whatever you use. You'll still be able to play all the games you love, even when the digital switch is made. And finally, if you use a V-chip to monitor what your children can and cannot watch, it too will work after the switchover. Now, if you have an older TV with an analog tuner and you get your TV through an antenna, rooftop, or rabbit ears, you will have to install one of those converter boxes and you'll have to install it yourself. Now, it's not difficult. TechNow's Vicki Wen shows us how. Hey, Scott, I'm going to take you through the very simple steps of hooking up your digital converter box to your TV so you can enjoy all your favorite programs. And trust me, it is so simple. First things first, here's what it looks like in the box. You'll be able to find one of these at any major electronics retailer. Best Buy, Circuit City, Radio Shack, you get the picture. All right, now the fun part. Let's open this thing up. All right, here's what we've got. The instruction manuals, but who reads those anyway? The cable, very important. The remote control, batteries included, nice. And for the grand finale, the box itself. Here's where you get up close and personal with your TV. Might want to bring a dust cloth too. 
Step one, check for the wire that's connected to your TV's antenna. It should already be hooked up to your TV right about here. Once you've found it, unhook it. Remember, lefty loosey. Take this cable and plug it into your box, right here where it says antenna in. Once you've done that, grab your cable, remember, the one that came with your converter box. Take one end of your cable and plug it into your box, right where it says TV out. Take the other end and plug it back into your TV in the same spot where you took the first wire out. The last step, plug your box into the wall. One more thing, check to see if the box is channel three or channel four. Tune your TV to that channel and you should be good to go. Put your batteries in. From here on out, you'll be using this remote control to change channels through your converter box. Now remember, you won't be getting any premium channels like HBO, but you will be getting some all new digital channels. And remember, a lot of stations will also be broadcasting several shows at the same time. Your new box can handle all of that. There. If I can do it, you can do it. Now all we're missing is a snack. Mm, sweet. Thank you, Vicki. Now, before we let you go, how does the converter box know which channels to tune into? Great question, Scott. Of course, when you set up your digital converter box, you're going to have to tell it what channels you normally get. So we'll take you through that in a few quick steps. First thing, make sure the box is on. Now, a screen like this should come up on your television. Keep in mind, every box is a little different, but in general, a welcome screen. In this case, it says select language, so we'll select English. Next. And here come the instructions. This screen says connect antenna cable to antenna in on the converter box. We've already done that. Next. And it says press OK to start searching, so we'll start searching. It takes about two minutes to complete. And just like that, your box should do all the scanning for you and get you all the channels that you normally get over the air. The one caveat, there may be a channel or two that you know you get that's not showing up. In that case, it might be time to invest in a better antenna. And of course, keep in mind, every box is different, so don't hesitate to consult your instructions if you need to. Scott, back to you. Thank you, Vicki. If you'd like to see that video again, we've posted it and all of the other demonstrations we've done during the show to our website, technowtv.com, including one that shows you how to hook up an old analog VCR. Now, the digital changeover will bring a better picture and more programming options, but it doesn't mean you have to spend a lot of money. Even the cheapest new TVs are ready for the transition. Before you check your bank statement, wondering if you can afford one of these big flat screen TVs with sexy features like high definition, plasma, or LCD, take a deep breath. You need at least two because you have a DVD player and a cable box. You can get a digital TV without going into debt. Young slipper lobsters are exquisite glass sculptures. In fact, while big, flat, cool TVs are selling well these days, so are these. We found perfectly good digital TV sets, and they're cheap. How's $200? This one will run you $140. A little knowledge in case someone tells you you have to go four figures to afford a digital picture. No, no, right now you can get a $200 20-inch tube television will get you the best signal you've ever seen. And I would imagine within the next six months, you'll be able to get one for 150. Many of us will be upgrading our TV set soon, and as complicated and expensive as all these optional wires can seem, and while the backs alone of the big screens can look suspiciously like an aircraft control panel, don't worry, we can clear things up. Any new TV you can buy today is digital. The size, price, and options are up to you. The new TVs are all digital. Well, I'm telling you, the indoor antennas pull it in beautiful. You don't even need to, to go cable if you don't want to. Many people don't. See, it's easier than you might have thought. Going digital is not all that expensive, especially if size doesn't matter. Bottom line, while fancy flat screen TVs usually come with a digital tuner, you don't have to buy a flat screen TV. Even the smallest, cheapest TV you find, if you find it new, will come with a digital tuner. So you've got the converter box or a new TV. Up next, we'll talk antennas. 
Stick around so you're sure to get the picture when our special continues.